Hey, y'all. Hey. You know how when you feel like you're just not ready? You're like, oh my God, I'm not, I don't think I'm ready. Wait, I'm not, I, I don't. Hey, wait, what? The lights broke or you didn't get the script or wait, what? Everything changed. Oh, everything's crazy now. Help us all. Oh yeah, so I understand. I'm not the only one. Wow. I am in my little studio here. Hello. And I am a filmmaker and comedian and I'm also, I play safe side super chick. <laughs> like helping keep kids safe. For many, many years, I have been privately helping keep adults safe in the sex area. Uh, I've actually been accidentally introduced as, as safe sex super chick so many times, but it's actually in my contract that you're not allowed to say that. Like I can't do a Saturday Night Live spoof of safe side super chick. Damn it! Um, and nor would I, like I've like, that's a, that's a whole thing I do for kids. But this is gonna be what I have. I talk to you about to the adults when the kids are in, you know, class. Shh, no kids will laugh. Kind of like in holy bedrooms, which is what I'm gonna be talking about, and kind of a sexy church. I mean, I ha I do have a full disclosure. I do have a spicy link on the OF, and it does say it does say in the asterisk, buyer beware. I am taking you to church. I'll bet a hot as hell God S church, but it's still church. I have been pretty much living the and teaching the gospel of Mary Magdalene. I mean, it's true. And in, uh, including the worship services for men, like a, like a true worship service, much like to Jesus. And that is how I roll. And that's my love and that's my love of like helping men and just like lifting them up from a God space. Though it, it might be sexy as hell. I will trick you all day long. I will give you a little sex. It's like my boxing movie is not really a boxing movie. I mean, you're going to see me naked. I mean, I'm telling you right now, you can find that. I could never run for office, y'all. I mean... And I play a lot of different characters, and I'm a comedian and an actress and a filmmaker. But here's what I can co provide to society as a whole. Because listen, I am like a female Huck Finn that's hanging in the hammock between all y'all's poles. <laughs> I am a friend of all parties, member of none. You can be a member to me if you want my love and attention and expertise. You're welcome to it. So on this one, on Lemon Social, Lemon Social, Mommy teaches all things for the adult side. The kids are not allowed. I have been for years on the road being an advocate and a spokesperson for survivors of like the worst trauma you've ever seen. List it, whatever, pick one. Usually child sexual abuse is my forte. As a creative and as a filmmaker, my focus was switched forever when I made the documentary, Searching for Angela Shelton, because it opened my eyes to my own blockades that I was living in and putting myself in due to my pattern that started with my abusive dad. And I was like trying to fix that with every dude who is kind of like dad, right? Until I saw the patterns and then switched all that. It's like healing. They say when you do healing, it's like a peeling an onion, kind of like the layers of me. And on Lemon Social, I'm gonna take the layers off, much like uh, Seven Veils Dan. What opened my eyes was making this documentary and understanding the level of pain people are in, and repre repeated traumas, repeated abuse cycles that we put ourselves in. And I am always an artist and I always feel, I see things. That's why like my workbook that I do with the sword, which you'll find out about, like I, that came to me in a vision. Ah, la, 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 la. And all of my core work, me personally, is all from a spiritual place. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm very into the other worlds while being rooted here. 
which is really the Gospel of Mary Magdalene. It's crazy. I was like, what? And I have come to learn many things having, uh, having been an expert in, having become an expert in trauma and recovery and the repeated cycle of abuse that we put ourselves in because I went on the road and told my own story. And then I started listening to other stories and listen, I've been to every state, down every highway, and we can, we can like legit say, like I, I am here to prove it. I mean, I, that the dark stuff is, is kind of really an issue. <laughs> and there's some, a lot of stuff going on behind closed doors that's traumatizing people forever. And if we talked about it, here's my theory. Take the blanket of secrets and shame, which is how darkness hides under the blankets of secrets and shame. So remove that. I'm going to be removing it here and really teach core love from a God place and union with humans, like from a God worship place. It is profound healing. And I have come to believe and witness why we are kept from truths like this why like women especially like we're cut off from this part of our body like we don't talk about that you're gonna spray that with some smelly stuff well you should not look at that get it closed up shave it all off look like a little kid listen we'll talk about it all i am about the core healing like going back and like healing that daddy wound healing that mama wound so that you have your pro your love is so profound that even when it's just yourself, even when it's by yourself, right? What? That it is a profound experience. And it's actually energetically putting like joy energy <laughs> out and healing. Because as you even heal your own stuff, trauma triggers and all the stuff, and you're not littering your own stuff out in the world. Then the next layer of healing that I've, hey, I'm sharing what I have personally done and witnessed is the owning the sexuality, taking it all back that was stolen from us and not, you know, lied to, muzzled, you know, left for dead, you know. When you heal that, there is a spiritual awakening that happens with the sexual awakening and the body awakening, like cleaning your body and like, and really getting out of the box that you've been put in. I know, it's weird. We're talking about that stuff. I'm gonna play lots of characters. It's gonna be funny. Um, you're, you're gonna see me naked, probably. I'm not gonna lie, but it's for a reason and I would like you to also try it. Like try what I'm telling you. Like for example, like studying the vulva and like looking at it, you're like, wait, what? I don't do that. I was taught you do not look down there. Hence, I will be playing those characters. Also sharing ways for couples, for your, you by yourself, for the fellas, on ways to just have more profound sex because I've done it myself and I've, I've seen it. I mean, if you've been watching me, you see how I look different. It's because I'm eating fatty meat. I'm having profound body love work, like sexual love work. I mean, it's true. And I cut out for the most part, I fail all the time with ice cream, but I've cut out sugar. Listen, I cheat. I'm going to, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to put it in my mouth. Nobody's looking. Hey, I just, I went live. I went live and let you see it. <laughs> At the core of me is all about healing and elevating and reconnecting and, and energizing that core connection with the infinite. Yeah. God. S. If it freaks you out, you can go God S. With me, you can say or ask or do anything within reason. I mean, I'm not like hurting me personally, but everything from dealing with impotence to dealing with flashbacks for um, while you're having sex, dealing with where you're where you're thinking about other people or scenarios, and you're not actually present with the person. It's like something might have happened to you that messed up your relationship with your parts, which is also in your mind. Whatever it was, she cheated on you. He abused you. You had to do something. You were told something. You know, you're ugly. You smell bad. Like that, it's usually something that somebody said or did that 
makes your brain disconnect from here or here, like all of it is part, I mean, it's all full circle. And it's usually something as simple as it's something somebody did or said. And it's like cutting those cords and getting back to this from a profound body, mind, spirit place. I'll be sharing what, what did it for me as far as what I put into my body and how I spend my time. And then who's on that list? And, and that could mean sexy and not sexy. Hello. Like it's just how you spend your time. It's like with your family, with your kids, yourself putting yourself on there, that, that was huge for me. So I'll show you what worked for me and how I have like amazing, profound segs and how I've helped others with their relationships. And feel free to ask me anything, send me any questions, please. Because I, I probably know it or I know somebody to help with it. So, hey, here we go. I'm, I'm like, oh my God, we're gonna talk about yeah and where it comes from all of our issues and how we can all come together truth is i believe feminism fucked up because the men didn't come so i'm here to help them come and we all come together how about that i mean